pandas histogram. So say you have a series of data and you want to find its distribution and you want to create a histogram on top of your data frame. Well, luckily pandas can do this right out of the box with some plotting capabilities. So let's check this out. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to import pandas as PD, but then we're also going to import uh, NumPy as MP because we're going to use some random numbers. And then lastly, I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT for some extra charting capabilities here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to be a list of random numbers. Go ahead and feel free to download this code from GitHub and just copy and paste here. But I'm going to set my random seed so you can get the same random numbers I'm getting. I want a thousand data points. And here I'm going to uh, pick, I'm going to have a thousand data points of students. And so here I'm going to make a choice of students, uh, a major math or English. I'm going to take a beta distribution with some special parameters here and another beta distribution for test scores. So we get our major, we get a list of test one. So what they score on test one, and then what did the student score in test two? And then here you can see that this student's math is major or uh, major is math. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to create a histogram to look at the test scores for test one. And it's as simple as this. You call your data frame, you call dot hist, and you specify which column you want to do your histogram on. And me, I specifically want to do it on test one. I'll run that. And you can see here that we now get a histogram of our test one scores. Now you can see here that the majority of students, the most students it almost looks like maybe 250 or 240 um, got 60%. So this is what the most common test score was right around 60%. Now, in order uh, to learn how to read a histogram, uh, go check out our website for the other videos on what a histogram actually is. Okay. Now, with regards to um, histogram parameters, the next thing that we can look at is we can actually increase the bin size. So you'll see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different bins. We'll say you wanted higher resolution of your data and you wanted more bins. Well, what you can do is you can uh, set your bin number to be whatever you want it to be. So in this case, I'll set two bins and you can see, well, it doesn't really tell me a whole bunch because, you know, this is all grouped into, you know, scores that are around 45% and 75%. Eh, that's, that's not good for me. Well, what if we did a number that was too high? Say I did a bins, 200 bins. Well, as you can see here, this gets us a little bit more data, but we only have a thousand data points. So 200 bins is way too much. Let's check out a number in between, maybe 35 bins. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, picking the number of bins that you choose, there is some, uh, we'll call it mathematical ways to make an approximation on this, but really it's more of an art than a science. So just plug and play a few values and see what feels best to you. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create custom bins. So you'll see here, if we go up to the top, all these bins are evenly spaced out. Well, say you wanted to create your own custom bins. Well, what I want to do here is I'm going to call a histogram on test one, but I want a bin between zero and 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 7.5, wait, 0.75 and 0.75 and one. So the way I think about this is anytime that there's a column, there's going to be a bin. Let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here that we have three commas. And so we have three bins. One bin is pretty large and it's, so it's wide and a shorter bin and a shorter bin. So we can see the distribution with our custom bins here. Now, say you want to plot, um, multiple groups. Well, in order to do that, it's pretty cool. You can tell pandas what you want to group by or what you want to split by. So I still want to look at test one, but I want to split by major. I'll go ahead and run this. And then all of a sudden it shows me two histograms split by the column that I specified, which was major. And we defined English and math from up above. Okay. Now let's get a little fancy and let's see what other parameters are within the uh, dot hist um, pandas package. So here we're doing our column, which is test one. I'm saying I don't want a grid. And so meaning I don't want my grid lines on my, on my chart. I'm setting a fig size. So this is going to make the chart just a little bit bigger. I'm adding a legend. I'm splitting by 30 different bins. And here's an interesting one. I'm making my orientation horizontal, which means it's going to pop out from the side rather than pop out from the bottom. And then finally, I'm setting a custom color for my, um, for my histogram. And then, so here we go. There's all those parameters set in one here. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to plot multiple series on the same chart. 
So what this means is I wanna see math and English, but instead of splitting it out by two charts right here, I wanna see them all on one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna um, call the df.plot function, and I'm gonna specify that this is a histogram. This is uh, an easy one liner in order to get the two on the same chart. I'm gonna set an alpha, which is gonna make it a bit see-through. I'm gonna set a title. I'm gonna set a, rot a rot, or which stands for rotation, which is just the rotation of my x axes, or x ticks. I'm gonna, I wanna see a grid. I'm gonna set the fig size bigger, gonna make the fonts bigger. I'm gonna set the two colors that I want my uh, two histograms to be, X label and Y label. I'll run this. And then as you can see here, we have our histogram with two different distributions on here. We have our legend, we have our custom colors, and we have our X and Y labels. Now that is Panda's histogram.